Gary, a goalless draw here against Portsmouth. For you, does that feel like a, a point gained or, or two drops? Yeah, I think it was a really difficult game. They were a very physical team. They came to, to you know, put a lot of big players on the pitch. They were going to bombard us with, with long balls, and I thought we really stood up to that test. We defended a lot of corners, uh, which is really pleasing. So a clean sheet is something very much to build on. Uh, and I thought some of our play in periods of the game was very good. Created what I would call opportunities, not quite chances, but opportunities in the final third where we need to have a bit more belief and play an extra pass and, and get in a better goal scoring position before we take the shot off and I think that's something we can we can improve on but I uh, can't ask any more in terms of effort. Our theme for the week was intent and I wanted the team to show that intent within the, without the ball and I thought they did that. The star of the show was, was certainly Jamal Blackman, a man of the match performance and some absolutely unbelievable saves at times today. Yeah, I thought they were good saves. I th uh, you know, Jamal's a top keeper, so I, I would expect him to, to make those saves. Uh, but he, he was there when, when we needed him. But I thought also the defenders uh, and midfield strikers, you know, contributed to that clean sheet by the way uh, we stood up to the, the physical test that Portsmouth were provided. I mean, you, you touched on it there. Clean sheets, you simply haven't had, hadn't had, haven't had enough of them recently. Uh, that could, that's something massive to build on. Yeah, without a doubt, we, we spoke a lot about it, about conceding soft goals and, and not standing up when we, we've been called upon to defend and uh, today I thought we did that ex extremely well and faced a lot of corners against a really big side, so uh, all credit to the boys for standing up to that. Great to see Sweens back in, in the side as well. We thought he would be out for a bit longer, but, see you, Paul. but uh, try telling Sweens he's going to be out for more than a week. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant and, you know, to have the, the injuries had. Uh, and to be out for the period of time he's had uh, out with with a you know an operation in between, uh, it's fantastic that he's he's got the cast and he's willing to to stand up for the team and be available for the team. And I thought he was he was excellent and a and a really good team performance. So I was saying taking a bit of risk with screens is, with injury. That's quite a sensitive one and, and perhaps one that uh, uh, perhaps another player wouldn't feel comfortable playing with. So fair play to screens for, for wanting to get stuck in. Yeah, it's been his call. It's not something we have forced upon him in, in any way. It was, you know, his call to to uh, try and see if he could get a cast that would allow him to play. It's his call to train and see how he feels in training. It's his call to go on the pitch. So, uh, all credit to him for showing that bravery and and making himself available for the team. The squad's been affected by plenty of illness throughout the training ground this week, you know, missing players here and there. So does it feel like a, an even better point given that you weren't able to perhaps pick the starting eleven that you wanted to? Yeah, without a doubt. If you consider uh, Sam, Tim, Keggs, Josh Key, Jake Caprice, uh, there's others but I can't remember them, there's been that many, <laughs> have all been affected by this, then not only were some players missing but some players were playing clearly. Uh, not quite a hundred percent, and that is again testament to their uh, character and their desire to, to help the team uh, and try and fight for the team to get a, a victory. So uh, I can't ask for any more in terms of the, the character the squad has shown this week and the togetherness, and we have to keep that going for Thursday and, and Sunday. Just some of the players there that, that played ninety minutes, you, you'd have no idea. Yeah, no, brilliant, and and you know we were worried about certain ones and, and felt that we might need to take them off but the way the game was going it was in the balance and uh, they, they got through it with, with you know like I said great effort and great tenacity to, to do that uh, we will wrap them up tomorrow see how they are and then and then go again for Thursday night Jamal went down in the first half just after then Portsmouth hit the post and then I think I saw Jamal sort of hobbling off at the end is there anything to worry about there? I hope not I've not seen him yet uh, but fingers crossed he's okay he certainly took quite a whack then and rode our luck there because Portsmouth obviously hit the post from, from that um, that distribution. Yeah, I felt it was a foul. They, they said he hit our own player, but I'm, I'm not sure there was that many bodies there, so I felt it was a foul, but uh, I'll, I'll need to see that one back again. I felt there was quite a number of fouls that were awarded in that game. Do you felt that just broke up the play for either side uh, and the flow of the game? I'm not sure what a foul and what isn't a foul anymore. Uh, I felt like today I'd quite like to have played because a lot of fouls went, went unnoticed. Uh, I didn't know you could put two hands on somebody's back and, and get away with it and it happened several times in the match and, and went unnoticed so like I said I, I don't know what is a foul and what isn't anymore. Jack Sparks, probably calling the league one Jack Grealish, the amount he's been brought down this season. Yeah he was superb as well, somebody who's been out the team recently and came back and 
uh, you know, showed great quality in an attacking sense. First half and in the second half, I thought he really dug in and defended extremely well when he was called upon. So uh, he can be another one who can be really proud of his performance. Given that illness within the squad and you've, you've not had a chance to assess them after this game, it's not ideal to have a short turnaround for that Bristol Rovers game. Is, is there a hint of concern in your mind there that you may have these issues again come Thursday? Not with this group of players, no, not the way the, the character they've shown today that you know we will protect them tomorrow, we will recover properly, uh, we will prepare on uh, Wednesday I think it is, I've lost track of days and then we will be ready for Thursday night to, to put a team out in the pitch that uh, like today showed real competitiveness and uh, bravery for this football club so we'll be ready again come Thursday. And that Bristol Rovers game, it, it should be a cracker in previous seasons. It's almost like a frenzy rivalry, we've played them so much, it's just a short trip and you know, you know, one of a thousand City fans going up there, it gives us sort of another local derby feel to a game and they're always exciting. Yeah, short trip for XR, it's still about, I don't know, is it an hour, an hour and a half? <laughs> uh, but no, it's uh, like you say, I, 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 it's got a feel of a, a derby because you know f there's not many clubs uh, close in, in proximity to Exeter, so uh, I'm sure our supporters will go there in good voice again and back us. And uh, like I said, we'll recover and be ready for that challenge when it comes.